It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 230 pounds. Fighting the Palace Verdes, California, USA, the Great. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. And now he's got that tight punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Big punch landed over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Single collar tie. Left hand punches the clinch. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, big punch land. 
There's the kick, it's blocked. And that left hook landed on the button. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> he is all about that left kick to the body. Well, whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. And they separate. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Big body kick. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Immediately gets the underhook. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Whoa! Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking round in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. There's no give on that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Slicing elbow comes around the corner. That only happens if you can gain posture control. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. A oh, little single collar tie there. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, pretty good counter chance to the head by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of strength. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, just taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Hard shots landing on both sides here. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but somehow is managing to land it with so much force. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Oh, all right, he 
He's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on him with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon in the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Rolling now. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Right hook to the head block. And they separate. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! Under two minutes now to go in round two. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Holy smokes! Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of round number 2. Wearing the winner by knockout, the girl. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout.